हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पंपिंग पॉपुलेशन इन्वर्सन ऑन मेटास्टेबल स्टेट लेट्स बिगेन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थ्री टर्म्स इन ऑर्डर टू स्टडी डिटेल्स अबाउट लेजर्स let we have to consider a atomic system as that atomic system is characterized by discrete energy levels that energy level e0 that is the ground state which one is the lowest energy level and e2 the excited state that one is the highest energy level in that of ground state there will be either electrons atoms or molecules present in order to achieve its excited state they have required one kind of external energy source and that external energy source is implemented to that of ground state atom molecules or electrons in a technique and that technique is known as pumping or that method is known as <coughs> pumping so what is pumping the method of raising a particle the particle from lower energy level to higher energy level higher energy level or higher energy state is called pumping the method of raising a particle from lower energy level to higher energy level or higher energy state is called pumping that is pumping there are various methods of pumping methods of pumping like optical pumping in case of optical pumping light source is used to provide energy to that of ground state atom molecules or ions sorry atom molecules or electrons basically we call it as particles another method electric discharge pumping electricity basically used direct conversion chemical reactions
inelastic in elastic atom atom collision these are the methods of pumping any one of this method is used to pump next term population inversion when that electron or atom or molecule required what amount of energy is required we have to provide that amount of energy to that of ground state atom then by taking that amount of energy that amount of energy in the form of discrete energy level that is photon h nu then these atoms are now to its excited state are that of excited state they stay just about 10 to the power minus 8 second and after that they emit photons and drops to its lower energy state but there will be energy level in between ground state and excited state that one is the metastable state at that of metastable state the time duration is around 10 to the power minus 3 second as 10 to the power minus 3 second is very very large as comparison to that of 10 to the power minus 8 second therefore the particles are at that of metastable state is much more as comparison to that of ground state and that process is known as population inversion the process of achieving greater population density of atoms in the higher energy state as compared to the lower energy state is called population inversion the process of achieving greater population density of atoms in the higher energy state higher energy state either that one is the ground state or the excited state sorry that one is the either metastable state or the excited state as comparison to that of lower energy state that is the ground state is called the population inversion that phenomenon is known as population inversion why population inversion occurred due to that thing at that of excited state it will be required 10 to the power minus 8 second and at that of metastable state it is required 10 to the power minus 3 second which one is much more than that of 
excited state. Therefore, a huge number of atoms stay at that of metastable state in comparison to that of ground state. And this phenomenon is known as population inversion. Next, what is metastable state? Look here, ordinarily an atom remains in an excited state for about 10 to the power minus 8 second. After which it emits a photon. and drops to the lower energy and that emission from excited state to that of lower energy that emission of a photon from an excited state to lower energy state is governed by a selection rule. Therefore, these rules do not permit certain transactions or so certain transitions from higher energy level to ground state, from higher energy level to ground state. Source energy levels are termed as metastable state. The emission of photon from an excited state to the lower energy state is governed by a selection rules and these rules do not permit that certain transition from higher energy level to that of ground state such energy levels are termed as that metastable state as we see in that of figure ground state towards that of excited state then it is transform to that of metastable state in order to not to that of ground state by a selection rule and that state is known as metastable state and at metastable state at metastable state atoms stay 
for about 10 to the power minus 3 second that one is much more as comparison to that of excited state. Therefore, it creates the phenomenon of population inversion. So, the population inversion phenomenon is due to that region. In excited state, it will require it will require 10 to the power minus 8 second in order to stay here, but in case of metastable state, it required 10 to the power minus 3 second, which one is much more. Therefore, a huge number of atoms are stay in that of metastable state, which is much more as comparison to that of ground state, and that process is known as population inversion. Due to that time difference, we obtain the phenomenon of population inversion. So, here with the help of this video lecture, you understand three concepts one is pumping, another one is population inversion, and next one is metastable state. We take an atomic system having discrete energy levels. First, pumping that is the method to raise the particle from lower energy level to its higher energy state is known as pumping various methods of pumping, then population inversion and uh, finally, the idea of metastable state, now why population inversion takes place. So, with this useful uninformative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.